Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group and today I am actually in sunny Costa Rica and I'm staying here at my hotel and resort and I thought, you know what? I have worked with quite a bit of hotels and things like that to help them get the right internet phone uh, internet service for their operation. So I thought this would be a good time to do a video called how to choose the best internet for your hotel. So basically there's a lot of variables and a lot of different type of things that go into this because as you can imagine, for those of you who are watching this who own or operate a hotel, not all hotel or resort are made the same. Some are small, some are big, some may be in rural areas, some may be in populated big cities, others may be in areas where you still get a lot of people, so not really rural, but you're on a beach or something like that where the internet options are, you know, less sparse than, you know, being in a big city or being in a, uh, being near other hotels or a metropolitan area. So I'm going to go through some different aspects of things that you need to consider or think about when you are choosing, you know, when you're basically searching to figure out what the best internet is. And before we start this video, you guys are probably wondering, why am I not wearing a mask at a resort? I purposefully got up early at 5.30 this morning and I'm also uh, in an area, I purposefully got up early where, you know, most nobody's up because check-in and check-out isn't until 10 o'clock, it's about 5.45 uh, right now and um, I'm also really close to the area that's near the water. So there's literally, as you can see around me, there's literally not a single person anywhere because I'm nowhere near the lobby. And also, it's like super duper early. Um, I'm an early morning kind of person, but most people aren't, especially not on vacation. So, anyways. So, the first thing I want to talk about is location. Location is really, really important if you have a hotel. Um, location is important for any business that's looking for internet, but for those of you who may not know that haven't frequented my channel, we did a video way back when about a quick story about a uh, private school that had actually built and constructed their property before they checked for internet. To make a long story short, this private school was basically faced with two decisions. The area where they were at had very sparse internet options and the only option was Comcast. They had to either pay $600 a month more to Comcast over and above the package they wanted to be able to pay back the really high construction fees or they could pay $19,000 up front to actually get Comcast to do the construction to pull in the circuit for the internet that they needed at their location. They really didn't have a choice. It was basically pick the lesser of two evils. In short, why did I tell you that story? It's really, really important if you're watching this and your hotel or resort isn't already constructed, if, 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 if you're actually in the process of building it or thinking about building one, looking at a lot or whatever it may be, I cannot stress to you how important it is to before you purchase that lot, before you put the first stone on that property, you need to find out what internet services are available at that location. You can call somebody like me and then I, you know, I'd be able to tell you in a heartbeat what's available there and what's not and what type of construction cost may or may not be associated. But so step number one, to choose the best internet, not only for your clientele, but for your budget you need to find out what internet is available. If you're watching this and you're somebody who is thinking about constructing a hotel, you need to find out what internet options are available and what the price per month, but also for construction, if any apply, is for that lot or for that property. Point number two, let's talk about speed. So first of all, if you're watching this and you're a hotel operator or owner or director or, you know, IT director or purchasing manager or whatever it may be, speed is important, obviously. Now this hotel that I'm in, it's a resort, and I wanna say it's got about like, if I had to guesstimate, I think it's got about 800 units, approximately. So 800 different rooms that can be rented out, uh, you know, for people to stay here. I can only imagine for internet, they must be using fiber. Fiber, at the time of this video, is what I recommend for pretty much any hotel. Um, now, if you're a smaller hotel, like say, this is gonna be a horrible analogy, but if you're like a small hotel, like a motel, or kind of like the motel out of the show, you know, Bates Motel, or the show or the movie, where you've only got maybe like 30 to 40 or less than 50 units, 
or, you know, possible rooms that could be occupied, you may not need something as um, heavy duty as fiber. You may be able to get away with some broadband. Um, for something like that, I would probably recommend, I don't know, maybe 200 to 300 megabyte broadband minimum. I mean, you can obviously go higher, but if you're trying to watch the budget, 200 to 300 or between 200 and 500 megabyte download speed broadband could suffice for your clientele. If you're like this place that has approximately 800 units, I definitely recommend fiber. Now I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, well, Prince, fiber is super expensive. Actually, at the time of this video, Verizon, Frontier, and AT&T all have these really kick-ass fiber packages that range anywhere from like 25 megabytes download, 25 megabyte upload, symmetrical circuit, all the way up to, I've seen it up to one gig or two gigs. I'm not sure that one gig would suffice for this place, but then again, it might, you know, one to two gigs might suffice, but I've seen one to two gig circuits as low as 500 to $700 a month. I've, seen, I've even seen them as low as 300, 350 a month, depending on whether it's Frontier, you know, uh, Verizon Fios, Frontier Fios, or AT&T Fiber. So um, that's just something to think about there. But if you're a hotel or resort, and I would say you're planning on having maybe anywhere from 50 to 100 occupants or 50 to 100 rooms occupied at a time, I highly recommend you go fiber. Um, if you're smaller than that, you could probably get away with broadband. Um, one more point that I wanna make is installation times. Um, obviously, if you're an existing hotel, resort, motel, whatever it may be, you know, installation times may not be a big deal for you because you've already got existing internet. So if they tell you, oh, this is gonna take a month to get installed, or oh, this is gonna take 45 days or something, it's not a big deal because you're not in a rush. You already have something, obviously, before then, because you're existing resort, hotel, or motel. Um, if you're new construction, like what I talked about at the beginning of the video, it's really important that you ask the provider, you know, what are your lead times on installation here, and also what are your installation fees? Lead time, I've seen you guys, because I've worked with internet all across the United States with many different businesses. I've seen lead times be as small as a week to a week and a half, so less than two weeks until they install after you sign the contract. And I've seen it go as high as 90 days. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anything go higher than 90 days, unless there was um, strange circumstances like pre-construction needed or something like that. Um, so it's really important that you ask the provider, hey, when I, what is the lead time after the time that I signed the contract. So we've covered availability and we've covered speed. Now let's talk about price. Fiber can get really pricey, you guys. Um, I typically see it the most pricey with companies like Comcast, AT&T, and Spectrum. If you're watching this video, I would be looking to see if you can get AT&T's what they call rebranded, uh, rebranded fiber, which I believe is them reselling Verizon's Fios or look for something called Frontier Fios or Verizon Fios. So AT&T Fiber, Frontier Fios, and Verizon Fios at the time of this video are the best, most cost-effective, high-speed, and I mean really high-speed, Fios that you can get for large operations such as a hotel or a resort or a motel. As far as pricing goes, again, I've seen fiber pricing go as high I've seen it for, I mean, I've seen it as low as like 100 megabyte download, 100 megabyte upload for $75 a month, 75 to $120 a month. Um, when you're dealing with the Verizon Fios, Frontier Fios, and the AT&T uh, rebranded reduced price Fios that I mentioned, it's very well priced. Like I said, you could probably get a gig for about $400 to $600 a month, you could get a gig. Um, a gig fiber would actually be enough to suffice for this place that I'm actually in, I believe. Maybe two gigs, but it's hard to say. The good news is most of these places, uh, not most of these places, most of the internet providers that you talk to, they actually typically have like, if you tell them, hey, you know, I'm a hotel or resort or motel and this is how many units I have, They'll ask you questions like during the process, you know, how many people do you have? How many people at one time do you think you're going to have in your hotel or resort? 
You know, how many people do you think you're going to have using the internet at the same time? And they'll be able to help you work out which package they think is the best or not. Don't forget, if you're not sure, you've always got me to ask to help you figure that out as well. And my services are free, as you guys know. I get paid by the service provider that you choose. So that pretty much wraps up this video, you guys. Um, how to choose the best internet for your hotel. Um, just a couple of pointers that I want to go over before we you know, move on. Um, and I get back to my vacation and let you guys get back to whatever you're doing in your day. Uh, so point number one, which is the most important point that I feel that I made in this video, if you are new construction or, well, you're not, you haven't started construction yet, you haven't broken ground, get with somebody like me first so that we can find out if the lot or, or spot that you're thinking about putting your hotel or resort is at even has decent internet or decent internet options. Obviously, if you're building a hotel in a major metropolitan area, your internet options are usually going to be, you know, plenty, uh, very plentiful. And those guys are also going to be fighting over price to get your business. So that's good for you. But um, if you're in an area like where I'm at now, that's coastal, that's near the coast, which is where internet tends to get sparse, or you're in a super rural area or something like that, your options are going to be much thinner. And it's really important that you do a little research, preferably with somebody like me, to find out what's there before you commit to a lot and a, you know, a lease or a mortgage or a lengthy contract with a property that may not have internet um, that suffices for your patrons. You know, Let's be real, this is the 21st century. Everybody looks to see if the resort or hotel or motel that they're staying at, for whatever it is, pleasure, business, you know, infrequent travel, everybody looks to see if the place that they're looking for has got quality Wi-Fi and internet capability. So you definitely don't want to not do the proper research or not have somebody like me or one of your people with management scout for the right solution for your hotel and for your visitors. Don't forget that speed is going to differ depending on areas and things like that. And also speed is obviously going to change the price of whatever you're looking at. Um, I always recommend with hotels that you go a little bit over and uh, you know beyond, meaning if you do the math based on amount of rooms that you have and amount of people that you think are going to be using the internet at any given time and you say we'll throw an example out there think okay well minimum that would cut it would be a hundred megabytes down I would recommend paying with most fiber you know go ahead and pay the extra fifty to a, sometimes it might be twenty to a hundred dollars to get a hundred and fifty megabits down or get the two hundred meg circuit if you think a hundred or hundred twenty five is going to be what you need at minimum it's always good to have a little more for when you have that higher occupancy or if you've got that patron that you know is downloading a bunch of stuff or he's streaming Netflix and HD or, or you know in 1080p or he's streaming YouTube in 4k or something like that last but not least remember you're a hotel or a motel or a resort you are bringing a lot of extra not only business you're bringing jobs to a region you're also bring you're also adding to the tax base in a specific region, go ahead and like negotiate with your internet service provider. Usually they're they're willing to negotiate with you to some degree because they understand that you're, you know, you're going to be bringing jobs, more tax base and things like that to an area. It's in their best interest to some degree to actually bring that service to you because if they have to pull a circuit out to you, it means that now they've opened up the door for other hotels and other small businesses that cater to those tourists and whatnot. So don't, I guess what I'm saying is don't sell yourself short in just how much leverage you have in this scenario because you are opening up the door for more business for your service provider and other service providers from other things that come to the area because of your hotel bringing in, you know, more interest and things like that. So that wraps up this video, how to choose the best internet for your hotel. If you're watching this video and you either have an existing hotel, motel, resort, or whatever it may be that you have for tourists, um, or you are in the process of planning to build one somewhere and you would like my help, my services are free. I represent every single US-based internet service provider in the United States. I can typically get you better pricing and access to promotions that you didn't even know existed. My services are free. I'm paid by the service provider. I do not charge a thing. So give me a call if you need my help or just use the information below to message me on my website. 
I'm more than happy to chat with you on the phone for a bit to learn more about your tourist attraction, your business, and to figure out what services make the most sense for what you need. Prince Rich, your go-to guy for the best deals on business, phone, and internet service in the United States. I'll talk to you guys again in the next video.